Okay, so now I'm going to go over 741. Um, in this one, you're actually answering the question. It says the softball team has an important game today. The coach asked her assistant about Barry's preparations for it. Answer each question affirmatively using double object pronouns. Be sure to follow the model closely. So we're going to do the same thing again. It says, nos pusiste los pates y los guantes en el carro. Okay, so you identify your verb, pusiste, okay? And the subject, if it's iste, is you. So it's saying, did you put, okay? So when you answer, that's going to be important this time because if it's saying, did you put, you're going to have to answer back with I put. So I actually, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't put that down here. So I put would be puse. Okay, so it's asking, did you put the bats and gloves in the car for us? So you've got to identify, so what was being put? The what is always your direct object. Los bates y los guantes. That is your direct object. And we are going to replace it with los. And then uh, this is for whom you put it in the car. So what you're saying is, yes, what you need to say is, Yes, I put them in the car for you. So I put them um, in the car for you all, which would be Lace, right? Because if it's, did you put it in the car for us? Yes, I put it in the car for y'all. Okay, so now remember that these guys cannot go there. They have to go in front of puse, both of them. And you're going to always put your indirect before your direct. And then remember that in this scenario, I have an indirect that starts with an L and a direct. When I end up with that, I have to change my indirect to say. So, si sí se los puse en el carro. Okay. Here, les compraste barras de proteína a los jugadores. This is your verb, compraste. Who did the buying? You did. So, if I said, did you buy protein bars for the players? You're going to say, yes. I bought. So, you're going to take your comprar. And make it for I, which would be compré. So you're probably going to have to go back and review. You're going to have to go back and review your um, Okay, so um, you're going to say, yes, I bought. Um, so you're going to have to review your preterite again. So here it's saying, did you buy? So we got to ask ourselves what? So it's asking, did you buy? Did you buy what? Barras de proteína, that's going to be your um, direct object. That's the what. And barras is feminine, so it's going to be las. Did you buy, so this is the what. For whom did you buy it? Los jugadores. And they already went ahead and wrote it in for you, so this part's been um, done for you. Okay? So you're going to say, yes, I bought them for them. Yes, I bought them, meaning protein bars. For them, meaning the players, okay? But remember that you can't, your um, indirect always has to come first, so we need to move those around. And then all of this has to come in front of, in front of my verb, okay? And then because my indirect and my direct both start with an L, I have to change this to say. So you would say, si se las compré. Okay, so the next one says, les trajiste muchos refrescos también. So this is your verb, trajiste, which means to bring. If it's an iste, it's saying, did you bring? So you're going to, in your answer, say, yes, I brought. So you would say, si, and then the yo form of, tra, of traer, and this you'll have to go back and review, is traje. So si traje. So then, what did you bring? You brought refrescos. That is your direct object. For whom did you bring them? For them, probably meaning the, the players still, okay? So then you're going to say, yes, I brought them, meaning the refreshments, to them. No. 
meaning the players. Okay, and remember you cannot have your indirect goes first, then your direct, and all of this has to go in front of your verb, okay? And when your direct and your indirect both start with an L, then you have to change lace to say, okay? Okay, this one says, did you put ice in the, uh, did you put ice in the cooler for me? So this is your verb. Again, this is your subject. Did you put, so you would answer, yes, I put, whoops. So then in your answer, you would write C, and then that would become, who say I put, um, what did you put, ice, that's your direct object, and for whom did you put it? For me, that's your indirect object. So yes, I put it, meaning the ice, which would become low, in the cooler for you. Because if I'm saying, did you put it in there for me? Yes, I put it in there for you. And you would be Tay. Okay? And so if you remember, both Tay and Lo need to move in front of your verb. And your indirect goes first, the person for whom you bought, I'm sorry, the person for whom you put something, not what you put, and that would be your answer. Si te lo puse en la heladera.